Hello, welcome back to another fabulous story on my channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Books Corner, and today we are going to be talking about book writing. Specifically, how camp went, why camp vlogs kind of stopped all of a sudden, where those are going, henceforth, and whatever. So actually, I ended up losing all my footage for the final week of camp. That's kind of what happened. I also, you know, decided to film what I wanted to film, and so I had a few day vlogs as well that I was going to kind of combine together, as I think it would have been really nice, and I ended up actually losing all that footage as well. So that's kind of where the vlogs went. What did I work on during camp? Maybe you missed all my camp stuff that's cool i will put a card video up if you want to look at that one vlog i posted where a lot of things did happen in it so there's that i worked on the ruling i think i have like a faux cover which is probably just says the ruling and then my name type of thing probably something on those lines i probably looked at somebody else's faux cover and was like that's cool we'll do that just so i can throw something up on the screen and that way like when i do a thumbnail it's a little bit easier and it's on the screen the ruling i've mentioned time and time again it's a family drama set after the events of a supernatural world war where the supernatural win and when i first started camp back at the beginning of july now it's like august like fifth or something when i first started camp back at the beginning of july i had zero outline and i was really confused and i had a lot of questions of where the story should go by the end of camp i can rest assure you that i figured out exactly where the story should go and i was very much enjoying the the way it was going i very much liked where the characters were headed um there is some writing issues i'm having with it and that's just because i haven't written in third person i think ever missed like writing a short story or something which is why i recommend i always recommend and i hear other people recommending this as well if you're new to writing a, like a version of a book that you really want to write let's say you really want to write a sci-fi novel well i highly recommend you write a sci-fi short story and to kind of get your growth going before you jump into a full-length novel that way you're not thirty thousand words into like that novel and decide oh i can't do this because of something or whatever whereas if you write a short story about it, it's like five thousand words it's a little bit less hard work and you can basically figure out where you're line is and where you like to go and stuff this point of view most of my things that i write are in first person i personally really like first person i can do a lot with it i don't believe emotions and stuff are that hard to do in first person personally and so writing something in third person makes it a lot harder in my own personal opinion so i walked into this thinking oh i didn't really have a lot to do like like i didn't have a lot of mindset now i know exactly what's going to happen in book one except for the second part which could be what's holding me back I don't know what my hinder is right now, but I definitely have a hinder and I really need to get over this hump and really just continue to write. I think maybe next week will be my goal week to write a lot because this week I failed and I'm really behind on my words. And that really sucks for me personally because I have a goal of reaching a certain amount of words every day. And I do have some days planned for a 10K and that type of thing for the month, but you know, there's not always that's gonna happen. So we can't rely on something that's not fully done and that's not fully there yet. So currently, if we were gonna talk about how many words I'm sitting at, where we're at in the book, chapter wise, percentage wise, I'm on page 82, which is great. I think that's a great number for this. I do wanna mention that there's two scenes that are missing from this draft. We have the final scene of the chapter that I'm working on because I wrote it early and we also have the scene that I'm currently working on which is the scene beforehand. We're currently sitting at 23,346 words which is phenomenal since I had to start this back from like zero like zero I started this at zero words. Ultimately I feel like that's a win for camp personally for me and yeah the goal is still to get this done by August 31st. I still feel like it's very possible. The first weeks of the month are just really busy for me. The first two weeks this month have been really busy for me. It's not until like the third week that my month starts to kind of slow down and I can start really taking days for myself to really work on things. Last month, I had a lot of days where I could go into work a little bit earlier, mostly not by choice, but just because, and I didn't, I had time to like set aside to work on this. Whereas this month, I'm really trying to focus on other stuff. You know how it works. You can't do all. I cannot do like the writing, with the reading, with the videos and the streaming, like one thing has to fault. And I'm not entirely sure where I want that fault line to be. I don't want it to be on writing. I'm really liking writing. And I think that's a very big reason why I don't want it to be on writing because I really, really do enjoy where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I really like the story and I really like where we're going. I'm very excited to really dive into these characters and really figure out more and have somebody else read it and tell me and help me and like all this other stuff. I'm really excited about it, okay? But the problem, the real problem lies in one answer. And then it's the fact that I don't want to give up on anything else. Like I don't want to cut content for you guys. Reading, I'm going to try to fit in as reading as much as possible. I do have a few videos that are specifically to reading and there's a few books that I can't listen to on an audiobook. 
<laughs> Which I do depend on. I do like reading. I also have a few graphic novels and stuff. So, like, we should be fine. I don't really think it's going to be that big of a problem, hopefully. But, yeah, that's the book that I'm currently working on. I'm loving it so far. We're in Chapter 6. Like I said, we're in Scene 3. This is the last little bit. Maybe that's also part of the reason is that I'm a little nervous. This is the last little bit of information that we have before we're on to New Horizons completely. Because about, like, I want to say 10k of this... I wrote, and then 10k of this, I did not write. Well, I did write, but I, I edited into the book again from the first time around, and I think everything meshed really well together. For instance, the days that I know I'm writing really good, it sounds great. The days I know I'm not writing really great, it does not sound great. With third person, I'm having a hard time, like, having to explain thoughts from our, our listener, and so I've been reading other things in third person, such as, like, I'm rereading Shadowhunter books and stuff, and that's really helping. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you don't know how to do something, Look at other mediums and figure out how they do them. Obviously, I wouldn't say if you're looking at like an experiment to only look at one source, look at multiple sources. And I'm doing that. I'm reading several books that are in third person, specifically picked for third person. And I think it really is helping me kind of get a grasp for what I'm trying to write. Because obviously like the tense and stuff fucked me up on one book. Not really fucking me up over here. Speaking of that one book it did fuck me up on, let's talk about Broken Boys. But with this one in particular, and what I want to talk about here in particular, is that I do have plans to start back writing on it in September. That hasn't changed. I still have very strong plans to come back to this story in September. I had no plans of rereading it, outlining it in September. Actually, I had zero plans of doing that. I had plans of doing that this month. And I still have hope plans to do that but I do have plans to read this this month it just makes me really nervous I think it's the biggest thing once again it's just myself holding myself back I know people like it just for instance when my my best friend was here she knows the book on my shelf and she's like oh my gosh I love that book like that was a great book you did such a good job with that and it was like a second draft so like it wasn't even like the best quality of a book but she really talked highly of it and it made me feel really nicely my mom always has nice things to say, but she's also my mom, so it's harder to tell. That's the plan for Broken Boys, though, is to continue on with it. I just have to get into the right mindset. I just really need to just freaking do it. I might film a fake vlog where I'm talking to myself while reading it. Maybe that will give me some type of thing, because, like, vlogging while writing really did help last month. Vlogging while reading always keeps me accounted for, so... Yeah. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't comment down below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you on our beautiful video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.